I want you to trust Jesus entirely for your salvation. So that's the good news I have for you today. Did you know why they call it good news? It's a Greek word, the gospel. It means good news. Tell me, have you ever heard any news better than this? Even though we're sinners, Christ died for us. God loves you so much, He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross so your sins can be forgiven. Tell me anything that's better than that. That truly is good news. The Bible says that even though we're sinners, Christ died for us. It says, we've all sinned, and because of our sin, we'll die and go to hell, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Did you hear that? The Bible says it's a gift. You know what the gift is? The gift is eternal life in heaven. So that's why I'm here today. I want to ask you, do you want to receive the gift of eternal life in heaven? Do you want to receive the gift of eternal life in heaven? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll have salvation. That's all God requires of us. But it is, it is a requirement. It's the only way. Jesus said he's the only way you can get into heaven. Amen. Sir, do you want to go to heaven when you die? You do or you don't? If you don't want to go to heaven, it's okay with me. There is no such place as purgatory. There's either heaven or hell. That's the only choice. You don't go to heaven based upon your sweetness or your goodness, your good manners or your religions. You go to heaven one way, through faith in Jesus Christ. Now I want you to be sweet, I want you to be good, I want you to have good manners. That's all good, but you can't save yourself through your self-righteousness. There's only one way your sins can be forgiven. There's only one way you can get into heaven. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to put your faith entirely on Him. Now that young girl, she said she's going to go to heaven because she's a sweet person. We can't go to heaven based on that. We need to rely in, on Jesus Christ. Don't rely on your sweetness, your goodness, your religious works. You need to rely entirely on Jesus Christ. If you're trusting your self-righteousness, you'll never end up in heaven. Because your self-righteousness does not solve the problem of your sins. We've all sinned. Now I know that some of us have sinned more than others, but it's not, not the number of our sins that matters. And I know we have our different varieties of sins, but it's not the type of sin that's the issue. The problem is, if we've sinned at all, any kind of sin at all, we're in trouble with God. You need your sins forgiven. There's only one way your sins can be forgiven. Jesus Christ died on the cross so your sins can be forgiven. You need to believe His death on the cross served as a full payment for all your sins. If you believe it in your heart, it's true. It becomes true based upon your faith. If you believe that Jesus' death on the cross paid for your sins, then they're paid for. If you don't believe that, then you will die in your sins. Amen, sir. I'll see you in heaven. You see, it's easy to get into heaven. We just need to trust Jesus. But if you're trusting your religion, if you're trusting your own self-righteousness, then you'll never end up in heaven because you must rely entirely on Jesus Christ. The Bible says, you who are trying to justify yourself through your religions, it says you're alienated from Christ. You're not saved. You don't have the grace of God.